League plays finally here in Cold War, and if you want to win as many games as possible and be placed in the highest skill divisions, then you need to make sure you're using the best weapons in the game. So today I'm going to be going over the top 5 guns you want to be using, when and how you should be using them, and the best class you want to be running on each of them. It's really important to be running the correct weapon for the map and game mode you're playing in, and it's also really important to be running the correct weapon for the role that you're playing with within your team. So whether you're the objective player, a slayer, or the anchor holding down the spawns for your team, your choice of weapon is super important, as it'll have a huge impact on how well you're perform in your role and whether your team will get the win. So the first gun you need to be running is the Krig. This is a go-to assault rifle inside of Cold War. It's one that all the pros have been using recently. It works great in medium to long ranges. It's super accurate. It has high damage. Use this gun to play a lot slower, holding down lines of sights and spawn traps and controlling the spawns, playing more as the anchor role. The job of the anchor is to hold down those spawns, rotate ahead of time and make sure you hold that point in the map before the hard point gets there or wherever you need to be inside the map. Next, make sure you're controlling those spawns, pin the enemies back into their spawn, really just holding down the map for your team because when there's only four enemies, it's fairly easy to do with a really powerful assault rifle like this. So it works really well on slower game modes like SMD and Control, but I wouldn't really recommend it inside of Hardpoint because in Hardpoint, you need to be moving a lot faster, getting kills a lot faster, and the Krig doesn't really work as well in that sense if you are trying to play on the objectives as well. It also works great as a long-ranged overkill class with a sniper, and the best class you want to be using on the Krig is a Microflex LED, the Field Agent Grip, the 50 round fast mags, the airborne elastic wrap and the raider stock. Next we've got the AK-74U and this is a go-to SMG used by all the pros. Again it's a super easy to use gun, really high accuracy, really high damage, really fast movement speed which is great for playing in hardpoint and control being super objective based. It's a great long ranged gun as well for an SMG, it does loads damage at range compared to what other SMGs do and it's really accurate as well so you can get those kills at medium to long range but if they are using an assault rifle then you probably will lose them but it does give you a chance to get those kills in clutch situations. You want to be using this like I said for fast objective plays and for slaying. It really works best when you're up in the enemy's face and being super aggressive trying to get as many kills as possible to keep them pinned back into their spawn so your team can capture your objective or when you're sat inside of the objective also getting loads of kills there defending it. And it can also work great as a close range secondary on an overkill sniping class. The best class you want to be using on the AK-74U inside of league play is the Spetnaz Compensator, the 9.3 extended barrel, the Spetnaz speed grip, the 50 round fast mags and the nerf stock. Next we've got another assault rifle that is the XM4. This is a faster paced assault rifle than with the Krig. It's got faster fire rate, it does really high damage, really accurate again and it's really easy to use in all situations which is what makes this different to the Krig. You can use this in basically all situations, all game modes and all maps. I like to use this as being more of an objective assault rifle but you do have a little bit of extra range than you would with an SMG but you can also get those kills at really close range like you can with an SMG. The AK-74 you or another SMG if you chose to do that instead. I use this mostly on hardpoint on control on larger maps where you've got longer lines of sights so or an SMG might not win the gunfights just so you can perform in all situations on that map where the close range on the objective and the longer range outside of it. The best class that I run on this uses the gunfighter wildcard so I can take all eight attachments and I run the microflex LED, the muzzle brake, the ranger barrel, the steady aim laser, the field agent grip, the 50 round fast mags, the airborne elastic wrap and the raider pad. Then we're moving on to a sniper and the best sniper you want to be running inside of league play is the LW3 Tundra. It's the best all round sniper with high damage, good ADS speed, really accurate and easy to use inside of all game modes but it's best for SND and on an overkill class. All the overkill class that I run has the LW3 Tundra with this class on which I'm going to talk about in a minute. I wouldn't try running it on its own because the sniper inside of league play isn't the best. The whole point of league play is he wants to be playing objectives and getting those wins. Yeah it might be fun to just snipe and get good clips but the idea of league play is he wants to be playing as well as possible, playing on the objectives and getting the win for your team and just running a sniper on its own doesn't make you very well prepared for playing on the objective in those different situations that could come up within a match. So you really want to be running this as an overkill class with one of the other guns which I spoke about before. But the best class you want to be running on the LW3 Tundra inside of league play is the Stabilizer .308 muzzle, the rapid fire barrel, the infiltrator grip, the airborne elastic wrap and the raider pad. And finally the fifth best weapon you want to be using inside of league play is the AK-47. This is an alternative for the Krig basically use it in the same way, playing solo controlling spawns, picking off easy kills at longer ranges. You don't really want to be using it as much at closer ranges because that's where you want to be using your SMG like the AK-74U, but it does work great at those longer ranges. It has really low recoil and it has a really fast time to kill, so the best class you want to be running is the Spetnaz Compensator, the Liberator Barrel, the Spetnaz Speed Grip, the GRU Elastic Wrap and the KGB Skeletal Stock. So those are the top 5 weapons to use inside of League Play in Cold War and the best classes to go with each of them. 
Let me know in the comments if there's any other tips you'd like to see for Cold War League play, any guides or anything like that you'd like to see from me. Make sure you like this video if it has been helpful and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. Linked on screen now are my gold guides for a few of the weapons in Call of Duty Cold War. I've got all the snipers done, some DMR, some assault rifles and a couple of SMGs. Make sure you check those out. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.